of the examples regarding the, the vector product. It brings in the idea of a unit vector. So if that's something that uh, you're not sure about calculating a unit vector, then you can hopefully get it for something from this. It says find a unit vector perpendicular to both vectors A and B. Well, we know that if we have two vectors A and B, that if we find the vector product, that will give us a vector which is perpendicular to uh, both of those vectors. So the first thing that we can do is find a vector that's perpendicular to both A and B. It's not necessarily going to be uh, a unit vector, but the first thing we can do is to find A cross B, the vector product. We construct our 3 by 3 matrix, I, G, K. Uh, we're doing A cross B. It doesn't really matter. As we're going to see, we're going to have two answers anyway, uh, because one solution will be effective in this diagram pointing up, and the other one would be pointing down the way if these were on a horizontal plane. So we've got 2, 1, negative 1. Well, we've got 1, negative 1, 2. So our vector product would be some quantity of i minus some quantity of k plus some quantity of j. Uh, and then going through all our uh, a little 2 by 2 matrices, we've got 2 minus 1. And in the k terms, we've got 4 plus 1. And for the j terms, we've got negative 2 minus 1. I'm assuming that you know how to do this and that that makes sense. If not, you can go back and check the original videos. So we've got i minus 5k minus 3j. So that's our uh, vector product, or in other words, we could say that the, the vector is 1, negative 5, and negative 3. So we have calculated a vector, a cross b, and it has a certain amount of magnitude. So if the magnitude of this vector, for instance, was 5, then our unit vector would have to be a fifth of the value of that unit vector. So we need to calculate the magnitude and then effectively divide the vector by that magnitude. So if we want to say that unit vector, we want to find the, first of all, the magnitude of A cross B, is that we can say it's the square root of 1 squared plus negative 5 squared plus negative 3 squared, so we're taking each of the uh, elements of the column matrix A cross B and applying a bit of three-dimensional Pythagoras theorem, which gives us the square root of 35. Now, the square root of 35 is going to be just under 6, of course, um, and it works out as 5.92. So, we don't really need to work it out. I suppose we could keep it as a third. Uh, what we do want to know is that the unit vector u is going to be effectively 1 over that multiplied by the original components. 1, negative 5, negative 3. Okay. We could try to evaluate that a little bit further. We could approximate it, uh, but we'll leave it like that so it doesn't get too ugly. But the idea of finding a perpendicular unit vector just requires us to find the perpendicular vector through the vector product, and then checking its magnitude, and then making sure we divide that vector by the magnitude. Okay, that's us completed all our examples to do with the vector product.